G'day guys, how you going? It's Siski here. Welcome to my YouTube video. And uh, this video, we're gonna be, we're gonna start to work out the, the riser height um, of my second row for the seat. And uh, yeah, <laughs> check these out. I found these at the dump, these four red genuine leather seats. They're worth two and a half thousand dollars each and someone just pegged them because virtually almost all of the um, reclining mechanisms were broken. So what do you think I did? Well, I just went to the next seat at the dump and I pulled off some good mechanisms and I stuck them in these and we got some good seats. Um, I'm gonna be doing other things to these seats. I am going to be installing LED. I'm gonna make videos of all of this stuff, by the way. If you're interested, hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner. I'm gonna be making, um, putting LED lighting on these seats. I'm gonna be installing USB, some power and uh, I actually thought to myself, these don't really need them, but you can see the back how they're, a little, well, they've got kind of flat spots. You can't help that when you've got leather seats. Well, not these ones at least. Uh, they look fine. I will probably, I will probably normally wouldn't touch them, but I just discovered on that back side, if you actually have a look behind, behind this red cover, because these backs pull off there's actually a zip, so you can actually add stuffing and remove stuffing. So I'm gonna actually add a bit of um, fluff in there, the same stuff that they use, I've got heaps of it, and kind of, you know, pat them out a bit. And these all look like they've just come out of the shop. So I got these for free at the dump. Now, I don't know if you saw, the other day I released a video where I bought another set, identical set to these, because I've been looking for quite a while on Marketplace another four. So I bought them on Marketplace for 150 bucks. And there's one of them up there at the back. And there's another one down there. And I still have a couple in the car in the back of the van, which I'll be grabbing in this video and uh, sticking them down here as well. But um, yeah, I picked them up for 150 bucks. And the reason they were so cheap is, you guessed it, the recliner mechanism was stuffed on those. Can you see this? This has got a tear in it, but that's okay. I'm actually gonna be able to fix that so you'll never even notice. And yeah, so I picked those up and I just went to the dump and I got some more mechanisms. You can buy them on eBay for 15 to 30 bucks, or you can do what I do and go to the dump and just you know pull them off other chairs, just recycle what you can, I guess. Won't cost you a thing. So we have another set of four. And to be honest, I think I'm gonna get another set after that as well, because I'm gonna to wanna to do some surgery to at least three chairs. I'm not sure, we'll work something out because I'm going to pull the welder out. I was thinking about welding, but I might be able to do it with just bolts. Um, these center consoles, they're actually held in by iron down the bottom. I'm going to kind of angle grind that off and make a three seater that pushes together so I can at least lie down because yeah, I'm not a big fan of home cinema seats. I wanna be able to lie down rather than just you know sit down and recline in one direction. I wanna be able to lie down in a three seater that is at the back on the second row, dead center. So the whole idea of this video is we wanna make some temporary, you can actually see there with that seat, that's a temporary riser. I found that coffee table at the dump and you can see I've packed it up to the height that I think is pretty good. That height there is 400 mil. And uh, at 400 mil, you can easily see over the head of this one at the front. In fact, when you look at it that way, it looks really high, it looks a lot higher than I need. But remember, I'm having a 180 inch 16.9 screen. In fact, if you have a look there, can you see the frame there? That white frame that goes all the way around, down to the floor it is. That's 180 inches. And uh, you can actually see up maybe a foot, and a, I don't know what that is, half a meter up. Um, from there to the top, that is 170 inch cinemascope. In fact, check this out. If I come down and grab this remote and I bring down, I've got a screen in here. Let me just bring this down. Is it gonna come down? Why isn't it coming down? Here it comes. This here is a 4.3. 150-inch screen technic screen that I found at the dump. It cost over $3,000. Someone threw it out. And uh, there was nothing wrong with this one. It works perfectly. And look where it stops. 
how good is that? So let's just use that as our visual aid. I only put this in there so I can watch my old school TV shows as well as there seems to be a couple of movies coming out, IMAX type 4.3 movies like, um, what was it, that um, Batman, Not yeah, Batman and Superman, what was that thing called? I'll stick it on the screen. So basically what I want to be able to do is sit in this seat looking over the head of this seat and see the bottom of that screen. That's all I want to be able to do. And at the moment, when it's sitting there, I can. I can see that quite easily. But when I recline a bit, I do miss it by about 50 mil, which is about two inches. So yeah, I'm gonna just mess around a little bit with that height. Seriously, I could probably just use, you know, do it with this one seat, but I wanna be able to do it with quite a few of the seats. And plus I'm just dying to see what it looks like. So I'm going to kind of set up some more dodgy um, uh, risers and I'll show you what I'll do, what I'll use to do that if we come outside here. Can you see these, uh, this here, these are offcuts of yellow tongue flooring. Scored this at the dump. And uh, in fact, they were full sheets, they were massive sheets and I grabbed them because I knew that I'd want to use some for um, the riser in the future. Um, I'll probably end up buying my riser sheets when I build my riser in a couple of weeks. I'll be making videos of that as well. But um, this stuff here, because I cut this down, it's not, they're not full pieces, but uh, they're still big enough to use um, as temporary risers for individual seats. And the reason I cut those down was because I make, well, I don't make them, I um, fix all of these TVs you can see I built these shelving, all this shelving here out of recycled timber that I found at the dump. And uh, that's why those pieces were cut down. But um, enough of that. But I guess let's start. I'm going to be using bricks, Besser Block bricks. That's, that's what I'm going to prop them up with. I'm, I've got a bunch of, you know, Besser Block bricks outside. In fact, if we come out here, I'm using them as stairs. I've got them all around the garden. So we'll, And they just happen to be, I think, 390 mil, which is amazing. So I'll use those as legs and stick those um, off cuts on them. And then we will uh, stick some seats on and see how it looks. I'm gonna have to move these TVs. In fact, I might throw some of those out. This back one here is from a, um, uh, a Pioneer, it's called a Pioneer Kuro. It's like a $12,000 TV. I'll keep that though. There's one more that in there that works. The others I'll probably toss. Oh, check this out. This here, folks, is my first Starfield ceiling light engine. And this came last night. This one takes, I think, 1,200 stars, 1,200. And I think I'm gonna need another three or four of them because I'm gonna have over 3,000 stars in my ceiling. So I'll be doing videos on these very shortly. I'll be doing the, you know, the ultimate Starfield ceiling ever. So keep an eye out for that. But I'm gonna set you up somewhere, maybe do a bit of a time lapse and uh, get this thing done. We'll try to make this video nice and short.
All right, got the first one up. And uh, yeah, awesome. Now, I did find it difficult to see the bottom of that screen. Yeah, I'm definitely out by 50 mil or so. The thing is, should I lift it up? Should I raise it up? I'm still gonna have decent head height to the ceiling. I can still put my arm up in the air and not touch the ceiling, or at least just my fingertips touch the ceiling. So I think I could probably sacrifice 50 mil. But um, what I might do is just grab some pine framing and just pack that up a bit and, and suss that out. But I think I'm just gonna keep going and uh, put some more, um, you know, off cuts there and see how it looks. Well, there we go. We got our riser, our dodgy riser. It's really solid, actually. So I am just going to clean up in here a little bit, do something with these TVs, and I'll be right back. All right. 
All right, so it's been two days, believe it or not, two days later. Um, and it's been an interesting couple of days. Uh, every night I've actually, I mean, what I intended to actually do all of this, kind of moving it back and forth and getting the right spot with you guys. But um, in the end, because I was watching movies, I was actually doing it myself. And I think I've got it in the right position. I, I'm actually, I'll give you my thoughts. So what I've been doing is uh, I've been watching movies at night time and just tweaking. I've been seat hopping. I've been going from this seat to this seat to that seat over there and, and back again and just seeing how things look um, over the, the, the seats in front of me, if I'm happy with that. And I've tweaked it to where I really like it. Um, I wasn't sure whether the 400 mil high is a good level, but have to tell you, I think it is. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm going to lock that in. I really am. Uh, so the height's locked in. I really am. Because the thing is, um, if I recline back, like I said, I do miss, you know, I'm just not going to see, I'm going to miss that much at the bottom of the screen. But uh, what I've worked out is there's no actual way you're going to be happy. You have to have a compromise. Um, if you actually raise this up even higher, well then, one, I'm gonna be closer to my ceiling. I don't really want that. Two, my eye level's gonna be higher on the screen. Don't really want that because I think it's perfect the way it is now. We're just under half. Uh, we're talk this is all with the 180 inch 16.9 screen, remember? I'm hardly ever gonna be watching stuff 180 inches 16.9. It'll be mostly 170 inch cinema scope. And even at this height, we're probably just over a third up looking at the screen, that 170 inch cinema scope. Um, and the other thing as well I noticed is if you do recline back, your feet get in the way. Your feet, if, if you can see the floor and you see the bottom of the screen, you always see your feet. So I think, listen, if I actually recline this much back, this is perfect. I can still see the bottom of the screen. My feet aren't in the way. If I do want to go all the way back, then I do see my feet. But if I if I that's okay, and if I still want to recline back, I'll just ask whoever's in the front seat to go down. But that's the other thing. I'll be watching here, watching movies on my own, probably ninety five percent of the time anyway. So. I mean, I'm overthinking it, but you have to kind of think this way for your friends and your family and whoever else shares this cinema. So I have to go through this kind of rigmarole. Um, okay, so let's lock in that 400 mil. The, the other thing that we want to um, look at is the distance of, you know, the width of the riser from the back of the riser to the front of the riser. What do I want that to be? Well, I'll tell you now, the distance from the back, you know, the front of this retaining wall to this, the back of my chair here is two meters. I've actually measured it out, two meters. Now, I wouldn't mind actually being able to push those seats back a little bit further if I if I ever feel the need in the future. Even if it's just 100 mil or 150 mil, I think it would be really handy, which means can I make that happen? Um, well, the coolest part is, uh, what the thing that I keep forgetting about, I keep measuring off the front of this retaining wall. Well, that's actually not the back of the wall. That's actually not the front of the wall. The wall is another probably 350 mil back from that retaining wall. So I think it's going to be fine if I do, you know, shorten that two meters to say 185 because it's still going to be over two meters from the back wall to the front of the riser anyway. So, but yeah, you have to also keep in, the, uh, you know, think about things like say speakers. If you actually move this back seat back anymore, um, I think this is fine where it is now. I mean, don't look at this speaker. I'm going to have in wall speakers, right? So let's go to say the wall behind that speaker and we are at 900. So that's almost one meter from the back wall to my ears. And if I go over here, actually that speaker here is where the um, uh, the back speaker will wanna be. And we are 900 to one meter. 
So I'm happy with where this is placed. Um, I'm happy that I've got so much space between the back wall where my speakers are going to be and where my ears are going to be. Because, man, the amount of home cinemas that you see on YouTube or on AVS or on Facebook that have the seats plastered bang up against the back wall. I mean, I know people just don't have a, have a choice, and I respect that. But... Um, I'm glad that I don't have to do it because I think that would just be annoying as hell. I mean, yeah, at the moment I've been watching movies. I mean, I've been watching movies in that back seat for the past 18 months. That's how long that back one's been on that coffee table. I've been tweaking that one seat. And I have to say, with that speaker where it is, um, I'm happy. It's actually really good. It's not too loud. And I can hear it from, you know, where I'm sitting in the front seat as well. So I think that's a pretty good thing. So I'm not locking in that width yet. I'm going to kind of tweak it a little bit more and then make up my mind and uh, and and start building this thing. But uh, that's it. I'm going to call this one. Thanks for watching, guys. I I, I did want to kind of move these up and down and position them with you, but I ended up doing it while I was watching that movie, the movies. Um, so that's okay. But uh, you get the idea. So basically, if you take anything away from this, it's don't rely on riser height calculators. Don't rely on strangers on, you know, online telling you what you should do. Physically do it. Even if it's just for one seat at the back, you'll get a really cool idea. If it's going to work or not, there's no way I wouldn't, you know, I would actually work out my riser without doing it like this. But um, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Awesome.